In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own DIY Witch's Cauldron. We're going to start off by looking at how to make the glowing coals underneath, and then we'll move on to how the actual cauldron itself is built. So today I'm going to work on my Witch's Cauldron. And what I did was I took a bowl and I covered it with plastic wrap so I could hopefully use the skin in the future. What I'm going to use is this expandable foam. I've seen other people do it and I'm going to give it a try myself. So I'm going to go around this and let it set up and see how it turns out. Well, my expanding foam for my coal pit for the cauldron has uh, set up for a couple days and I'm going to try to release it and get the bowl out from underneath. Whoa, there we go. And there's my plastic wrapped bowl. So I'm going to do that and then. Well, that worked pretty easy. So now I have all my areas to put the lighted twinkle bulbs. I just got a strand of lights for Christmas that twinkle. I'm gonna put it under there and see how it looks. I'm kind of see him twinkling in there. All right, let's get to spray painting this. First, I go over it with red, which looks kind of cartoonish at first, but um, then I hit the top coat with the black to make it look like coals, and I actually think that turns out pretty good. Um, let's move to the garage now, and we'll take a look at it in the dark. Well, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. It looks like um, some glowing coals something like you'd see on Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. And uh, that's really what I was going for. Since that uh, worked out so good, let's move on to building the actual cauldron itself. Etsy and on Pinterest turn a regular old tub into a cauldron. So what I did was I came up with a pattern here that when you cut it out and you fit it onto the side, it's gonna turn this into the shape of a cauldron. So that's kind of what I've done here already. Cut out a few of them and made it go around and I put, uh, taped it on, tried some glue, didn't really work too good. So duct tape it is for now. And um, let me go ahead and fill in all the blank spots every few inches all the way around. And then probably what I'm gonna do is just use some um, black duct tape to get the general shape of the cauldron. And then I was thinking about using some uh, liquid starch and some newspaper to kind of paper mache over the top. So we'll see how that goes. For now, I've got my pattern here. This is my uh, one I'm tracing onto the cardboard and we're going to cut out a bunch more of these ribs that are going to go around and we're going to tape them all on and hopefully get that looking like a cauldron for to hang out over the uh, pile of embers that I've already built. All right we're going to quickly jump through some of these steps that's 32 total ribs taped onto the outside of the tub 
and then I just wrapped it with the black duct tape and then we'll do a little time lapse here of me using the spray starch to attach strips of newspaper I'm going off of a paper mache technique I used back in high school we made pinatas in Spanish class we did something similar to this So this is what it looks like after I get all the paper mache on there, with the starch and the uh, newspaper to try to smooth out some of the um, ridges and some of the um, duct tape that was on there. So, All right, here's a quick before and after. That's what the tub looked like um, when I started. So now it's time to spray paint the cauldron black. I just have some matte black spray paint and I'm gonna go around the whole tub. Well here it is all painted. So here we have the Finnish witch's cauldron hanging from its tripod here over its bed of coals. Okay, let's fast forward a few weeks to October 1st and I'm out in the yard. I've built this platform that the coals will sit on inside of a fountain base that we have. I put the uh, fog machine underneath and now here I am feeding the strand of lights down through a hole in the base which will plug in underneath and then we'll flip that over. and. There's the fog machine in operation to give some smoke coming out from the fire in the cauldron. And uh, here I added some sticks around the embers to give the fire more realistic kind of look. And I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. So here's a look at the final product at night in front of my witch's house. If you'd like to see how I built that, please check out my other videos. Um, I'm going to be releasing other DIY videos this year, so please subscribe. If you like what you've seen, please go ahead and hit the like button. And please visit my website, cyborghaunts.com, to see links to more videos and DIY builds. Happy Halloween, everybody.